Greetings everyone, Arunath Chalasiva. So here we are again having a new batch, that is batch 6th in Tirunavale, coming up in October and this time it's going to be a 4 day retreat. So 4 day retreat because we felt that you know all the time we were not having uh, 3 days enough. So we extended it for one more day and that's how we are going to have this as 4 days. The dates and all those things will be revealed only to the participants who are actually applying for it. So because uh, this is not a public event, we would like to keep it only limited to people who are aware of these practices of awareness and the platforms, Arunachala Tattva, Ramana Tattva. Then it becomes easy for us to settle down and talk the same language. Otherwise, it's very difficult. And um, that's the reason we are going uh, by the same frequency. So if you feel you know and you are interested, you have a keen pulling from within for Arunachala and you are more eager to learn about the eternal supreme truths, the highest truths of that is revealed by Lord Shiva of Supreme Consciousness, most welcome. You can always apply. The link is here, shiftingintoawareness.com slash events and just send your interest and once uh, we look into it and we find it suitable and give you a go ahead then you can do the further payments and all those things and the accommodation everything is in and around the venue place only so everything is very close by uh, the food is very homely organic food for the breakfast and uh, <laughs> the lunch and complimentary tea and uh, some juices organic i don't know they take care we are looked after there like a family so i don't want to put my too much into this eating stuff we are very well taken care of so those issues are all there a part of the package only uh, accommodations this time uh, i am not involved into the pe people are there who are looking into it but once your uh, application is approved only then look into the bookings of the uh, uh, accommodation and if you feel you know the accommodations you know something or you can arrange your own fine fantastic but if you feel you need some help your first time or something new to that then you can always uh, approach us we will completely help you in that and uh, we can have a great time there so this time we are going little more deeper into the tattvas of Arunachala that is the final tattvas these are and as you know the hill the holy hill which is mentioned in the Skanda Purana and it has so much of intrinsic details it's a mystical place and full of mystics and avdutas and yogis and saints and you know innumerable innumerable uh, jiva samadhis there are countless so this holy the place is whole place is very very holy so that's the reason we keep all these programs in the lap of Arunachala because the grace is so powerful that we just need to put a little effort and things happen there. Of course, it's it's the call of Arunachala. It's only because he calls and all by the grace of Arunachala, these, all these batches have happened since March it is happening and five batches are over in, since uh, March and this is the sixth batch that we are going ahead with. So limited people focused on the few tattvas that we are actually looking on into without any confusions and there is it's a it's a it's a no nonsense kind of retreat completely focused on the sadhya the main aim of coming there and i'm sure once you come there once you visit you are glued for life by arunachala this is the grace of arunachala people who come there usually most of them don't even know Arunachala, but something pulls them and they look at the hill. That pulling is your soul pulling because as Ramana, Bhagavan Ramana said, this Arunachala is nothing but yourself. It's a symbolical form of yourself. So, either your soul talks to you internally or Arunachala talks to you externally. And if Arunachala calls you, it's your soul calling from within, whatever happens. So, the whole idea is to align with this beautiful tattva sit there in the laps of Arunachala because the venue is also on the laps of Arunachala 
and simply be we don't do things do this do that nothing we simply be but since we are not able to be we, what i take care of is those aspects which does not allow you to be so that is what my work is all about once we get into that space of being then everything flows that's the magic of arunachala so you want to experience it you can come or you can directly go also without retreat also is no this you can always go to this beautiful place and stay there if you want uh, not come for the retreat you just want to go there and you want help with the accommodation or something just let me know we'll help you out in that so you can individually also go and spend time but if you be want to be a part of this whole celebration this soulful celebration we have <laughs> a different kind of uh, activities going on so if you like to join us participate it's a, it's like a divine family activity and we we all gather together and we meditate on those tattvas we 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 are actually working on meditating on the self so this time the sixth batch is completely focused on self inquiry who am i we have never done this before only this last webinar i did first time i attempted i told everyone i we don't promise anything but we can experiment and attempt and see how it works and it went fabulous so all the people who did upadesh saram had attended this uh, webinar where we spent 6 hours unraveling the details of the self and uh, practicing self inquiry as suggested by bhagwan ramana and suggested in upadesh saram and arunachala tattva it was brilliant and what makes me very happy is i always wanted to get into the zone of silence i wanted that we all sit just in silence so because that's the ultimatum as bhagwan says ramana says the highest teaching is in silence lord dakshinamurti it's not in any conversation but the only thing is we are not prepared for it until we we are not settle down nischala tattvam doesn't happen you cannot get into that zone so that's the challenge and that's what we have been trying to do in all these uh, almost now two years of uh, rigorous practices of um, annihilating this ego and settling down the mind and thinning this wheel and somehow i can see now we are able to do that all the regular practitioners who have been doing for the past one two years i can see the nischala tattva in them and last time we did a bonus uh, free event on zoom which we regularly do for the people who did upadesh saram and i was amazed to look at the people entering into silence after a little satsang we sat in complete silence absorbing no guided meditation no talks nothing where we were just contemplating inquiry the self inquiry was going on and while you do that you enter into a deep state of dhyana or samadhi and that's where the prakriya of mano nasha begins happening as per the upadesha saram and bhagwan ramana's teachings so it's a very deep and final kind of med- there's no meditation after this this is the end of the whole processes that we do so we tried it and it's it's working brilliantly because i wanted to experiment this before the 6th uh, batch grace of arunachal it just happened and i'm thrilled so i am sure now this time batch 6 we will be easily able to do the higher work and the deeper work that we are in just by being and sitting there nothing else and i am very thrilled and looking forward to all you lovely souls most of you we know each other it's very fine and it's better that we know each other and because we feel very comfortable with each other there's a good amount of trust and there is no barriers of this so called teacher and students and uh, this kind of things we are just sitting there having such sons just being there enjoying the vicinity of this holy place visiting avadutas and taking their blessings 
visiting Jiva Samadhis, learning to meditate, understanding, realizing the secrets of the Jiva Samadhis and the secrets of the Panchatattva temple, which is the Arunachaleshwara temple. So that's the most beautiful and most powerful aspect is the Agni Lingam and it has its own significance and meaning. It is one of the Panch Mahabhuta Stalams out of the five tattvas. Agni Lingam is one of the most powerful one of Arunachala. And Arunachala, uh, you must all be knowing, but if you still do not know, Arunachala is the final abode, that's the final part of the journey. If you see, there is there is this unity of Shiva and Shakti in Arunachala and it denotes as the it denotes as the final element of unison, Satchit, the blissful state Satchit Ananda. That's the place that Arunachala is, the Tattvam, the pillar of light, the first manifestation on earth, the Shiva consciousness in the form of light, Jyoti Rupa. Jyoti Swarup was Arunachala and the final return back if you see the dissolution also happens from there so that is the place where we can experience the Sat and Chit so that's the grace of Arunachala those who are interested in the final liberation journey they somehow get attracted to Arunachala Arunachala pulls them like a magnet that's what Bhagavan Ramana said. That the hill just called him. I had no idea why I am going there. If you see why, there is no intention Ramana went there. He was just pulled. And he just walked into that space. And he said, Shiva made me like Shiva Nishchala. Arunachala made me like Arunachala. Aruna, Achala. Achala means Nishchala. So he made me still like that. And he promised all those who come to Arunachala are being called by Shiva Consciousness, the Supreme Lord. When the time is right, they are sucked into that place. So this whole journey is not about I, 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 I. I go and do this. I go and attain something. This I has to die. This I will die when we realize there is a greater I that takes care of everything. Not this I. What this I can do? I go and achieve Self-Realization. Nobody can achieve Self-Realization. We are already realized, but to have that Realization, we just need to become aware of this Ego Consciousness. Aham Bhavda, Deha Bhav, body, Deha Bhoda, Body Consciousness. And Arunachala Tattva actually by the grace brings us to that kind of a state where we experience that. So that we can experience our own Self-realized state. That's the simple concept about. So, I, I, I. Ramana very clearly said that I is there as an effort in the start, a little bit of effort. But when that effort begins, there is something more than the effort that brought you to that effort, first of all. Something made you put that little effort towards that and that is the Shiva consciousness. That is actually sucking the seeker. So, most of the time, this grace of Arunachala does the work, if you allow it to. If the I reduces, the doing, 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 doing means I. I take completely control. You take control, then why will he poke <laughs> anything in there? He'll say, okay, you handle. But if you give in to that surrender of Arunachala, if you put the Lord, the divine will, Teri Raza me Meri Raza, Jo Shiva Agya, Jisvidi Rakhe, Usvidi Rahi, if you are in that mode of not trying to control your destiny, but knowing that the Lord is taking care of your destiny and leading you to the highest, then, as Ramana said, the soul pulls you, the tattva pulls you, Arunachala Shiva, the soul, supreme soul consciousness pulls you from within. So, a large percentage is the pulling. You just have a little effort to push in and you are in, into that. There is something sucking you, he says. Be aware of that. So what we do in Arunachala, what we do in shifting into awareness is becoming aware of that pull, that magnetic pull called Kripa, grace of the Lord. 
that is pulling us within and once we realize we go with that flow and that going cannot happen with this i i i i i create everything i don't create the creator is the supreme creator he has created me he creates my life based on my karmas so what i take care is my karmas the present karmas because if i am not taking care of my present karmas then it will lead me to pleasure or pain whatever so that is the only thing at the moment what i can take care is the right now karma and my little efforts that my little effort is what to become effortless my little effort is to realize that my little effort is to see who is this one stopping it this i become aware of that i and dissolve that i that's the only practice we do is a very simple but profound very very practical and very powerful so we always were thinking people with me were always think no without doing how now you can see without doing do nothing and you enter into those deep samadhi states which after doing also is very difficult to get so this is purely the grace of arunachala purely so we just align with that so we have been blessed with our gurus our as a respective gurus our respective teachers in our life all that good but it is arunachala work through them to get you to that final zone so we appreciate we become aware of all this it's not just theory we become aware all the time how our life is been led by something and we rejoice we celebrate so if you want to celebrate and rejoice with us most welcome to come october 2013 and the details will be sent to you on whatsapp privately once your application is approved because this is not a pu- public event we are keeping very limited people limited seats so we just take the look into the uh, the frequency of the people if they can adjust if they have been doing something on these platforms it will be easy for all of us <laughs> otherwise if you feel uh, we are very new we don't know anything about it we i can arrange you are going there and you can go directly and uh, see the things and all that but to be a part of the retreat you need to have some affinity towards these things and respect towards these tattvas that's very important so no experimentation no coming to checking out things and nothing like that seriously once you have known you trust the platform you know it's going to happen then you just go there and things happen so see you very soon if you are interested much divine love and light to all of you stay blessed arunachala shiva